you're in the market for a new boat and you want to do a little fishing, but you've got a big family and you don't want a pontoon boat, so what are your options? If you're looking for deck boats, you might not be thinking of Legend, until now that is. This is the all new D20 Vibe, and it's a brand new fiberglass deck boat from Legend. The reason you buy a deck boat is for space and a little bit more speed than a pontoon. And this has plenty of both. With the 150 on the back, we still manage well over 45 miles an hour. And as for space, just check out how much there is. There are enough seats for 10, and that doesn't include the forward fishing pedestals. And check out this lounge area. I just love how many people you can fit up here. And it's a very open layout, so you've got lots of choices for seating. And even more importantly, there's a couple of spots to put your feet up. And to port, this side is basically one monster lounge. So you could have two people lay down or comfortably read a book. And with all that space comes a ton of storage. So you can bring a fair bit of gear with you. Now, these do flip up on hinges lengthwise, which is a little bit odd, but you saw how easy they are to lift. But one thing that'd be cool to have is some kind of strut or linkage that holds them up. This one will not hold up on its own. You've got to hold it up. Pretty small compromise, but it'd be a nice to have. And there's one thing I can't stand. It's tripping over a cooler. And on the Vibe, you've got dedicated cooler storage. Being a legend, you know they thought about fishing. And you can see there's a dedicated rod holder for three rods. There is also an aerated live well conveniently located between the forward fishing chairs. Console storage provides a spot for the removable table, and you can stash a pair of skis or even a large gear bag under the deck. But neither are lockable, so you'll want to be careful when mooring or parking overnight. For us, it's always interesting getting on a boat for the first time, because you're not always sure how to open some of the storage spots. Like this one, I would think intuitively from the front, but it actually opens from the rear. Now that's great, it gives you lots of access from the side, but if you're trying to climb from the front, and reaching in to get something, the seat is a little bit in your way. Not a major problem, but a little bit tricky. You've got to come in from the side. Now, if you know me, you know I love the EVA Foam Sea Deck flooring. It's so comfortable and soft on the feet, and this EVA Foam is standard on the swim platform of the Vibe 20. Now for me, if I was gonna buy this boat, I would add more EVA through the entire boat. It's not that expensive, but it's just such a fantastic accessory. Now the Vibe 19 has a little hatch here to store fenders and lines, and the 20 has a dedicated fender holder for up to three fenders. And fenders are often stored under a seat where they're not that accessible. What a great spot to have them so they're immediately at hand when you need them. So this 20 Vibe we've got has the 150 on it, and that's about a $7,000 upgrade over the standard 90. And it's got power and power to spare. So if you're gonna do a lot of wakeboarding, tubing, and you've got some older teenagers, or you're gonna load the boat up, the 150 is probably all you need. The Vibe doesn't need huge power, due in part to the lift generated by the dihedral hull. Wide reverse chines trap air, allowing the Vibe to plane quickly without needing full power, even from the 150. We can get this boat on plane as low as 26, 2800 RPM, and she'll just rise right up on plane. By 3,000 RPM, we were cruising happily around 20 miles per hour. At wide open throttle, we managed 45 on top with two aboard and a half a tank of fuel. Not bad for a 150. While a bit heavier than an aluminum fishing boat, the Vibe still has quick reflexes. The large outer chines extend to the transom, limiting the lean angle a bit when turning. Since they tend to remain in contact with the water, they also help provide additional roll stability at speed. There's none of that chine, walky, rolly feeling at wide open throttle. However, the lift this hull generates means she's a bit more sensitive to engine trim than a traditional V. Keeping your trim adjustments small will help avoid unwanted porpoising. The great thing about a deck boat is you can bring lots of people with you. But the challenge with an outboard is you usually lose most of your swim platform. With the Vibe, we've got a monster platform up front that is perfect for beaching. Easy to get on, easy to get off. At the end of the day, Legend's new Vibe models provide all the versatility expected from a deck boat, including a large front platform that is ideal for both swimming and angling. The green gel may not be for everyone, but I think this is one sharp looking boat. <laughs>